What's up guys, welcome to your 17th Pi game game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over something called a unit vector. Now, I drew this little diagram because I thought it was easier to show you guys what's going on instead of just uh, talking about it since it can be kind of confusing. So I'll review what we did so far. The first thing we did is we build a coordinate at X and that's this, we build it at 20, 25. The next thing we did is make a point at Y which was at 40, 55. The next thing we did in um, this initialization function is created a vector or found out what the difference was between X and Y. So we subtracted X from Y and we got 20, 30. And this is because 40 minus 20 equals 20, that's a change in X, and 55 minus 25 is 30, that's a change in Y. So the vector from x to y equals 20, 30. So that's how we got that. So that's all this initialization function does is give us our vector. And next, we needed to calculate the distance. So we know from Pythagoras that this is side A, this is side B, and in order to solve for side C, we just use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we took A squared it, B squared it, and we got the square root of that and that gave us our 36. So this is the vector and this is the distance. 36 is the distance. But now what I'm gonna be teaching you guys is is something called a unit vector. What a unit vector is, if it, it pretty much says, all right, if instead of 36, if that distance wasn't 36, but it was one, and that's where the name unit comes from because it's only one, then what would this vector be? So what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial is taking that 36, changing the distance into a one and finding the vector from that. It's not gonna be 20, 30 anymore, it's gonna be a lot smaller. So let's go ahead and do that right now. In order to do that, let me position this, we first need a new function and I'm gonna name mine a uh, unit. So put def unit self. And now what we need to calculate this, let me show you guys how to calculate this. In order to calculate the vector, what you do is take the side of A and put it over the distance. And in order to calculate the Y unit vector, take the Y side and put it over distance. So 20 over 36 and 30 over 36. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we need is a variable for the distance. So we'll write distance equals, and this is equal to self distance. Since we already found that out in the last tutorial, no need to do it again. You just can't write 36 because um, and when you're making programs, these uh, coordinates might be different and we want this to work all the time. So that's why you need to do that. So in order to get the A um, unit or the side, how am I going to say this? in our new vector unit we're building we're going to need a new variable for both the sides so let's go ahead and make a new variable a unit which is going to be the new a side and we'll set this equal to remember i told you guys the formula is that side a over distance so now we have we divided a by distance and it gave us that new variable a unit so now we have to do that for b self b unit that's my street name, self B, which is that side B over distance, which is the hypotenuse of that uh, triangle. And now all we need to do is return something because every function needs to return something or else it's useless unless it prints something out, but that's another story for another day. So return self A unit and self B unit, make sure I spell it right, looks good. So now that we returned it, all we need to do is print it out. So let's go over here and print thing unit. And this should work. Hopefully it does. Cross your fingers. And let's go ahead and save this. And look at this. Um, here's what we printed out so far. The first thing we printed out was our vector. The next thing we printed out was our distance, which was 36 point something. I was too lazy to include that. In the new um, vector, hypothetically, if the distance was 1, it would be this. This would be the change in x, 
and this would be the change in y. So again, one last time, what we did is we pretty much took that side, a, and we divided it by the distance or the hypotenuse, and this gave us um, a reduced version of if that was one, what would the new side equal? And we did that same for b. We took 30, divided it by 36, and that gave us our answer of 0.8. So again, that's your quick tutorial. Um, the easiest way you can learn this is just follow along and type it all in yourself. And after you type it in, I'll promise you'll understand a lot better what it does. So for now, that's your quick tutorial on unit vectors. Again, these are going to be extremely useful. You cannot program 3D graphics if you don't know what unit vectors are. And again, in these next couple of tutorials, well, probably in like a few tutorials from now, we're going to be developing 3D graphics for our game. And if you don't know what unit vectors are, you're not going to be able to add that 3D dimension. So this is very important. So again, thank you for watching. Learn your vectors, stick to these tutorials, and soon enough we'll be making some sweet 3D graphics. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.